hello guys welcome to the 3d home and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys something very very important um i'll be talking about layout okay layout how to convert your work and um how to generate all this um, um title panel and at the same time generate your work into pdf okay so like what we have here now you can see we have our floor plan already in panel and everything is just on pdf now like ready for you to submit to your client so that's what we're doing today so let's go to our archicad and um from there we can start something okay so i'm going to i'm going to okay let me just create new new um new layout okay let me delete this one first and then we'll start our fresh okay 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 all right so now this is our first um story okay this is story one which is the first story where I have my floor plan. I've actually done the dimensioning. I've done everything um, in terms of what I want for this particular floor plan. And then now, how do we panel this? How do we take it to layout and then how do we convert to PDF? So we'll be doing this in a very short time, okay? So now, um, we have project map, okay? We have view map, and then we have layout, blow, um, layout book, okay? We have layout book. And then in this layout book, this way you get your different sizes of papers. So let's do that. Okay. So you click on layer book. Once you click on layer book, we have normally um what you see here is you see a um okay, you see a4 landscape, um a4 portrait, a3 landscape, a2 landscape, a1, and then these are just the things you see. But I've created other layouts here, okay, like the floor plan, the roof plan, sections, and the rest. These are actually some of the works I've done because I converted this work actually for someone. Then you can see the section, you can see the roof plan, then the front view. Okay, you can see the front view of that particular building. And then we have other views too. So now let's say we don't have anything yet and we want to create some. Okay, what you need to do is move your cursor to this one you're seeing here. This is new master layout. I'm actually going to show you the method I use, okay? Then we can have various methods, other methods on how to do this, but for me, this is the method I actually use, and I believe this is faster for me, though. So you click on this new master layout, okay? Once you click on new master layout, and then this is where you type the name of that layout. You can see I have um, front view, back view, right view, left view, door and window schedules. This is actually where I name them, okay? So for this one, let's say um, 3D plan. 3d plan okay let's say 3d plan and then this one is actually asking of the paper size so this is a1 actually let's change it to a3 okay move to a3 this is a3 so these are just the basic settings that i do okay these are the basic settings that i normally you know set so I'll click on create the paper you can see we have an empty paper now this is empty and um if you have let's say um, you want to draw your title block you can actually use this one this way you can draw everything the way you want it i like going with the the um, horizontal one actually i like going horizontal one and from the other works you're seeing let's check my um front view you can see what i actually did you can see the um the drawing the design of the title block for me okay and if you want something like this is the same thing you can use your line i use line in doing all these things and then after everything i grouped them together okay and um if you want to use the ready-made one the one that came with this particular layout okay you see it here in um a3 landscape once you click on a3 landscape let me see which of them okay a2 landscape normally we have the same thing here so you either use this one or you create your own okay but i don't want to go with this one so i decided to you know create my own so from what we have now remember we save it as 3d plan okay so this is 3d plan we don't have anything here now i want to since i have the panel already so what i'll do now is just to go and copy it and paste it here so how do we copy it i'll click on front view i'm um, sorry either roof or front view okay anyone where i can get the panel then i'll click on the panel okay i'll click on the panel and then Control c all right Control c which is copy then I'll click outside, then I'll go to that particular layout that I created, which is 3D plan. You can see the name here. 
and then I'll control V. You can see we have it here now. Okay, we have it here. And um, now, mind you, the only thing that will appear on the paper after conversion, the only thing you see when you've converted the work to PDF, is only the works inside this box. Okay, outside this blue line you're seeing, outside this blue line, nothing else is going to show. Okay, that's why you're seeing them a bit um, faint. Okay, and this one is brighter. So now, since we've gotten this one, we are set now with our layout. Okay, this is our paper, our A3 is set now. And then now we want to bring our floor plan. Make sure you check your floor plan first to be sure that everything is okay, everything is complete. And then now let's go back to that, our 3D plan. Once you click on 3D plan, you see we are still under this layout book. Okay, so now I'll click on this um, project map. Once I click on project map, just once, okay, once. What we have here now, you can see that your stories are showing. So, how do you move your floor plan? Remember, our floor plan is on story one. So, I'll just click on this story one. I'll click and drag. So, I'll press on my left key, um, left button on mouse. Then, I'll drag this particular one all the way from here to here. I'll paste it here. Is updating so you can see we have our plan here now okay and if it's looking too small I want you to see something and um, if you check down here you see the scale is 1 is to 100 okay 1 is to 100 and now this thing is looking too tiny we need to increase this so how do we do that you highlight this and then click on this resize click OK and then click once here drag outside click outside then drag it all the way to the right okay let's move it now if it's looking to be one to reduce just click again um click make sure it's selected like this click on this resize click ok click once drag to the right click two then resize it move it to the either left or right okay resize so let's go back to left okay it's looking smaller now so now click and shift it let's see so just adjust to the particular size that you want, okay? I think I'll have to increase this a little bit, okay? Let me increase this a little bit. So I think this one now is okay, and um, let me centralize it. Um, this one is still up. Okay. Okay, it's okay now for me. And then I'll click on these lines just to, you know, trim out these ones trim out these ones okay so we are good to go and for the scale once you check now since we've done resize we've resized the particular um, drawing if you check your scale now you see we have one is to 71 there it was one is to 100 so come to your scale and change it to that particular scale one is to 71 okay 71 so that's the scale we have and um okay these are just the basic settings that we need to do okay so we are good to go now. Now, how do you convert this work to PDF? What you need to do is to click on File and then click on Save As. Once you click on Save As, this one is already on PDF, but normally you see it on Archicad Project, something, something. So now let's change it to um, PDF file. This is PDF file, okay? And let's save this in um, let's save it in Desktop so we can see. I'm changing the name to 3D Plan, okay? 3D Plan. So once you click on save, it's already saved. Okay, it's saved now. Now let's go and check our let's check um okay our desktop. You can see this is showing 3D plan. Okay, just click on 3D plan. This is the work now. Okay, look at our scale, one is to 71. And then ah, oh, we forgot to change the name here. <laughs> it's showing front view. So let's go and change it. Let's quickly change this. Let's delete this one. It's not going to take our time. Okay, let's quickly um, quickly change this to floor plan. Okay, we do that by double clicking on the font, and then we change this to floor plan. Okay, floor plan. Uh, this should be small later. Floor plan. All right. So it's floor plan. Now let's save this. Remember, file, save as, PDF file, desktop, 3D, okay, 3D plan, and then save. 
Okay, now let's check. This is a 3D plan and a new one. Now you can see the name now is zero as floor plan and everything is really very good. Okay, so we'll be stopping here today. Stopping here today. Thank you for your time and um, if you find the video helpful, please do well. Okay, do well to subscribe. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section. I'll attend to you. See you on the next tutorial.